Hey guys, World here. Today I'll be covering a must-have tool used in lab running, which is Labby. What Labby does is it'll use computer vision to detect what enchant options you have at the divine font, and it'll help you determine which bases to use for each enchant. And a demo will be shown later in this video. Um, so I'll first cover installation. So to install Labby, we're going to go to this GitHub page, um, and a link will be in the description. And we are going to go to the Releases tab. This is on the right side, and we're going to click on it. And we're going to see Labby right here, and we're going to download the zip file. All right, now that we have our zip file, we are going to extract it. And now we're going to be left with this folder called Labby. And within this folder, we have this application right here. And so we're going to open it up and we're going to click on the application. We're going to start it up. And now you should see this pop up along with an icon for Labby within the tray of your desktop. So now I'll cover the Labby configurations. Firstly, you need to change the screen capture configuration. Depending on the resolution of your screen. So you want your screen capture to cover all of your enchants. Um, and this will depend on your resolution. So I'm going to go to Labby. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to settings. So here you can see that I have my options right here for my capture bounds. And we're also going to set a hotkey uh, that we'll use to activate our screen capture. And for this, I like to use equals. And from here, we are just going to save it. So now if we press equals, you can see that Labby shows up. Currently, we don't have any enchants on the screen, but when there will be enchants, uh, Labby will show detailed information about them. All right, now the part you've all been waiting for, which is the demo. So here we are at the divine font. I'm gonna open it up, yet. and I'm gonna press the button I've set the hockey to, which is equals. Here you can see it's detected cleave attack speed, general's cry, person strike. Um, and so for the ones with like low numbers, so you can see league one, um, league zero, things like that, you can pretty much ignore those because those are going to be pretty much worthless. Um, and for the ones that are more popular, so for example, in this case, general's cry plus one maximum, um, Mirage Warriors, we can see that there's two options. There's an Abyssus and a Crown of the Inward Eye. So to price check these, we're just going to click the price check button right here. So price check. And this will open a tab up for both of those options. So now we can see here Abyssus, probably around 100 Chaos. And crown the inward eye. Looks like these two are kind of old, so I don't know. Maybe 1.5x uh, or so. Um, my opinion, I feel like this Abyssus will probably sell easier. So in my case, I'm going to grab an Abyssus. And slap it on there. Next one. Low, low, low. These are all pretty low. So we're just going to grab a random base and slap it on. Just a skip. Right 
here. It's pretty much all low again. So once again, just slap it on. We got nothing here. Just keep going. Got nothing here again. Just gonna keep going. Nothing here. Just gonna keep going. And for our last one, we have pretty much nothing. Maybe this worth something? Doubt it, but yeah, pretty much nothing. And this was our last enchant, so we're just going to leave. So while this tool is extremely powerful for pricing enchants, you need to have the corresponding base within your stash uh, for it to actually be useful. And Path of Math has a pretty decent list of bases in a Google Doc that will be in the video description. Um, I'll give you, I'll just pull it up here. So he has stuff like this, Royal, Blizzard Crown, things like that. Um, like other than these bases, uh, each league will have a different meta. So if you know at the start of this league, we had Explosive Trap, which was a meta. Well, not Explosive Trap, Explosive Arrow, uh, which was the meta. And so for that case, um, bases like, I, I'm looking at PoE Ninja here, bases like the Goal were really good. Um, and then also uh, for minions, Ancient Skull, things like that. So really, it all depends on um, what is popular each league. Um, and that will let you know which bases are you, you want to have a stash of. So that's all I had for you today. And uh, please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. And good luck with your lab runs. And see you next video.